Hey everybody, I'm the Maple Man, Canadian, middle-aged, and a huge Sims 4 game player. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to part one of a brand new gameplay I'm doing. It is a challenge that I have seen online. I've seen other YouTubers uh, post their seven toddler challenge. Um, I had a friend of mine, Katrina, show me a link to a list of a lot of the Sims 4 challenges and I didn't see this one on there. Um, I don't remember what the link was um, and maybe it's on there now. But I, as I said, I have seen it done before and I have seen people, you know, have a little too much money, you know, get caterers, get babysitters a little too often. So uh, what I'm going to do, well, I should explain the game a little bit first. It's where you have one adult sim who takes care of seven toddlers and tries to make sure that, <laughs> make sure that they don't get taken away due to neglect. So that's sort of how the game works. What I've done is I decided to use a character that I've used in a previous gameplay, uh, Mr. Zane Meek, um, because he has the loner trait. And in the previous gameplay, it was called The Never Ending Party. And it was interesting because he definitely needed some time alone from a lot of people. And I thought, what better character to be the main character or the adult in the seven toddler gameplay challenge than our loner, Mr. Meek. So this gameplay is called uh, Meek's Nursery, and I've explained the gameplay to you. I don't really have very many rules, except I'm gonna try not to um, use other characters too much uh, to make it easy on Zane. The whole idea is he's gonna raise these toddlers, uh, raise them into children, and then if the gameplay's still going well, I wanna keep it going until uh, perhaps they're teenagers or, or young adults. Just We're just gonna sort of gauge that as we go. As always, if you have any comments, questions, anything you'd like to say, please leave them in the comments section. I do check um, and I do try to reply when, when I get a chance. So I think that's enough said. I think that explains the game. I'm very excited to start this one, <laughs> as you might be able to tell. Um, peace and love, everybody. Now, let's play. So let me reintroduce you to uh, Mr. Zane Meek. He was, as I said in the intro, our main character in The Never Ending Party, and I thought because of his traits, he would be excellent in this new gameplay. Um, so yeah, the reasons why I decided to reuse Zane was, I thought he was a great character to begin with, and um, he does have the loner trait, and I thought, what better character to try to get through a seven toddler, seven child, seventeen uh, gameplay challenge than one who wants just wants to be alone? Um, so that's the main reason why I chose Zane. Um, the, I'm just going to go through some of his other traits. Um, he is also, along with being a loner, uh, a geek, and he's also a good sim. So um, really like this character. I think those traits are going to help uh, and maybe hinder him in uh, taking care of seven toddlers. Um, just so you know, his aspiration is a nerd brain, so he does learn things rather quickly. I'm not going to go through his outfits in this uh, creative sim. I just want to introduce you to the characters. So that is, that is Zane our main guy in this gameplay. Uh, for the toddlers, I basically just randomized, grabbed random sims, reduced them to toddlers, and I went through each of the traits and I gave each of the toddlers a different trait. Now there are eight traits for toddlers, so uh, the one I didn't choose was the independent trait because I thought that kind of defeats the purpose of a seven toddler gameplay, to have one that's basically okay on its own his or her own, sorry. Um, saying that, that sort of leads me into the next thing I wanted to say about the characters in that I tried to make it even with uh, uh, male and female uh, characters and it actually worked out evenly. Um, there's eight, four are girls, three are boys, and one being Zane is the fourth boy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly introduce you to the toddlers. Um, again, I did not put much um, into creating them, they were pretty much randomized. Um, even their names, one name I didn't quite like, so I kept hitting the random button until I got something I like, but everybody else is the same. So our first uh, toddler is Sean Milton, and he is a wild child. So I really like his hair. I think he's a cool looking little toddler. And the clothes are pretty, pretty bright. 
<laughs> but that, I think, will go with our wild child. So that's our first toddler. Our next toddler is Gulliver Parker, cute little guy here. He is a silly child, so he's going to be our, our little jokester. Let's uh, let's see what, he, see what he has in store for us. <laughs> our third toddler is Tammy Posey, and she is kind of cool. She's got some cool posing kind of clothes. She is our inquisitive toddler. So, yeah, let's see what she gets up to. Uh, the next toddler is Roxana Melendez. Uh, she's just a real cutie here. I love her hair, the ponytail, the pigtails, I think they're called. Uh, but she is our fussy sim, our fussy toddler. Oh, fussy toddlers. They are tough. <laughs> so we'll see if she, if we're able to keep her in the household if she gets taken away. Yeah. She's the one I'm going to be worried about for sure. Uh, our next toddler is Carly Potter. Uh, again, just a cute little cutie pie. Again, uh, pigtails here too. She is our clingy toddler, so she might have a lot of uh, <laughs> need some extra time from uh, Mr. Meek. Um, I love her little boots here with the bear claws. <laughs> our next toddler is Yvonne Yvonne Hester, and she she's just a cutie pie there, and she is our charmer. So she is going to break the other toddlers' hearts. I can see that happening right away. Our final toddler here is Bill Tracy. Um, just a not cute little little toddler guy here. No, you know, nothing spectacular with his clothes. He's kind of a laid back kind of guy. He's our angel, so I'm expecting big things from you, Bill. I don't expect a lot of problems. Okay, buddy. Deal. You're gonna be the easy one to take care of. <laughs> so that is our quote unquote cast of this gameplay um and yeah let's get right into it now so i didn't really do this intentionally but as i was setting up the game setting up the house and then i sort of hit the press play button <laughs> i didn't realize that it was 12 30 monday morning and all the toddlers just sort of sort of showed up on the street outside which um i guess is kind of good for the game like is all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put them all to bed they're all fine right now um so that when they wake up they're gonna have all they're gonna have um their needs are gonna be uh, sort of out of whack and and some of them would need to food some of them are gonna need to go potty some of them might not get enough sleep throughout the night so I think this actually worked out okay. I'm just going to take a couple minutes. I'm going to put them all to bed. Um, right now, Zane, this was Zane's, uh, the same house he had for the Never Ending Party. I just made some changes to it. And because in the Never Ending Party there, there was um, an unfortunate death or two, um, there is a ghost visiting right now <laughs> on the lot. So already starting off quite interesting. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put them all to sleep take care of a couple things and then um, I'll, I might go to the morning and then start showing you around the, uh, around the house and the things that I've, I've changed um, when there's a bit more light and then we'll start playing. Oh my god but I have to show you guys this part doesn't this look like toddler get in like a whole bunch of toddler zombies breaking into the house all at once and yeah Here's our ghost. Who, who is this here? He's just playing on our computer. Fooey Fooey Opanui. Yes, we remember him from the Never Ending Party. Actually, maybe I'll take the time now since, oh my god, this is so cute. They're just piling in. <laughs> all right, they're all in and settled. So, oh, they've all acquired the movement skill. Good, they're all off to a good start. <laughs> so, um,. The four girls I put in this front room because it did look kind of girly, so I didn't really need to change much. Um, put a couple of toys around, but uh, the boys' room, since there's only three beds, and it was a larger room, uh, I put the potties in there, a couple more toys strewn around, a Blarfy doll, and um, yeah, just set up the room that way. There's more room in here, so I imagine the girls might come in and play in this room as well. I put some toys on the counter here, another uh, iPad one in there, 
uh, oh, a little bookshelf for the um, imagination skill to go get going on these guys. Uh, Zane is off in his bedroom sleeping. So far, Fooey Fooey, our uh, visiting ghost, hasn't destroyed anything, which is nice, because I just cleaned this place up from the Never Ending Party, which was a big ordeal. <laughs> but it is cleaned up, and I think it's child-friendly. Um, oh, I forgot to put this guitar somewhere. Okay, it's just in the middle there. They can walk around it. That's fine. Okay, so I missed one thing. Um, in the backyard, I got rid of the barbecue, which had a fire on it, um, and the patio furniture. I put some cool play stuff here. Some of this stuff is new, so new for me anyway. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, how they play with this. I know this is a dollhouse. Um, this is a slide. This looks like a, like a, a ball pit or something like that. Or it could be like a little toddler thunderdome. So hopefully they'll... Be able to play in those no problem it is like the first day of winter though so yeah i'm not sure how how well it's going to be i have a feeling the toddlers will be inside most of the time which is which is okay um for those of you who did watch my never ending party um uh, gameplay um a few people didn't make it including fooey fooey who's visiting right now um and their graves are sort of amassed around the pool and um, one by the DJ booth, because our DJ, um, well, she died of old age. So, you know, hey, things happen. But to protect the children from these dangers and stuff, I put up a safety tape. So hopefully that'll hold them back. I'm hoping that um, Zane can get across to use his exercise equipment, or I might have to redo this a later, little later on. I probably will anyway, because we probably will need the room, because this looks pretty tight just using this space here. But, you know whatever works works so that kind of shows you the layout of the place here um there's certain things i may switch up as we go like i thought of getting rid of this bathroom but then i thought about it again and went well when they all grow up to children if we keep playing it and then from children to teenagers uh, a second bathroom would be good toddler lesson tammy is just a helpless toddler caregivers and other sins in the household who needs to take care of her all right which one's tammy oh tammy Oh, someone's up. All right, I guess it's starting. Tammy. Oh, Tammy's starving. Okay, you know what? I did get some food out. Um, oh, I have no food. Oh, <gasps> Zane. Uh-oh. Okay, so I thought I had Zane cook food, but I guess it disappeared. Fooey, fooey, did you take it? Wake up. We're already starting. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to have to give her some food. Okay, I'm going to go into build mode, and I am going to get a couple of um, toddler high chairs. Okay, so I got a couple of high chairs here. Uh, Zane is going to have to feed Tammy right away. Um, let's. I guess we're starting. <laughs> give her food. What's wrong with the other one here? Is this Sean? He's very sad. Everybody's hungry. Okay. I didn't start off quite right here <laughs> okay zane you have to speed it up a little bit here oh the ghost is talking okay fooey fooey is keeping one of them entertained okay he's just very sad he's a little hungry tammy was starving so we'll take care of her everyone else is still asleep oh excellent this is not that bad actually then you're gonna go give him food oh come on zane Oh, he's already annoyed. Uh, toddler care. Give him food. There we go. <gasps> Tammy, are you our fussy one? Is that what's going on? Just throwing the food around. I don't think so. All right, well, you know what? You had your chance. You ate a little bit. Fantastic. Okay, let's see if, what's his name again? If Sean will eat his food. And then I think Zane's going to have... But there's another one over here, Zane. Figure it out. Work it out. All right. Let's see if Sean eats his food or just throws it around. Okay. Good stuff. Zane, you're hungry too. Okay. Let's let her out. And then we'll cook some food so that the kids can just eat, eat uh, a meal when they all get up. 
I think this is actually, this is the best. Oh, great. Fooey, fooey, ruined the toilet. Um, okay. Zane, I need you to cook. There, he's going to make a fruit salad for all of them. Let's see what Tammy's problem is now. She's still hungry. Oh, she has to go to the washroom. She's just going to have to go in her pants. You know what? Where is she going? Oh, she's going to go play in the ball pit. That's fine. You can go in there. You can go pee in there. That's fine. I think they're they're very hygienic. Uh, it's a very hygienic ball pit. It'll be okay. It's self cleaning. Okay, Fooey Fooey, quit getting angry. I don't need you to. Oh yeah, take out the garbage. Anything to help? You could have picked this up though too. Oh look at this! <laughs> this is cute. I've never seen this before. This is awesome. Oh, it's five thirty in the morning. I'm so lucky that all of the kids are still asleep except for two of them. Oh, he's going to be, you're going to have to leave. Oh, okay, Zane, you got to let him out. Whoops. Be on the right person. Let out. And then we'll see what his needs are since, oh, he's fine. He can start learning something. All right, while well, she's wandering about, she's starving. Okay, you know what? You can have some of this thing. Here. Eat some more of that. Someone acquired the imagination skill. Oh, she's playing. Okay, well, she play a little bit, get food. Zane, you gotta let this kid out. You brought, why is there toast here? Real cheese. I don't know who is making that. You will put it away after you let Sean out. You gotta let him out. <laughs> Come on. Okay, we'll put the rest of the fruit salad away for now. We're coming to get you. We're coming to get you. Okay, Zane, let him out. You can go back to eating in a bit. Oh, with two is a challenge. Oh, please stay asleep. I'm scared about this. Okay, sure. Take your salad with you. Let him out. He's getting annoyed. There we go. He is angry. Well, you know what helps anger? Learning things. Let's just go do that. Zane, you can let out. Well, you already let him out. Put him down. He's, all right. Eat, finish eating your fruit salad. Okay, we got the two kids doing stuff. This is fantastic. She took one of the toys. Great. Love this. I imagine at some point today, the welcome wagons are going to come over too, which we will probably just kind of ignore them because I'm not sure what else we can do with them. She is fine. Okay, her, at least these two will go to sleep soon, which is good. Oh, Sean acquired the thinking skill. Excellent. Excellent. Zane, how are you doing? I've got to make sure I stay on top of your needs, too. You're just tired. Well, you know what? Why don't you grab a little nap? Because what we'll do with the kiddos... Oh, she's done eating? What we'll do with the kiddos as they wake up... Oh, she's not completely done eating. She's playing with her toy, which I think is okay. Oh, okay. They're starting to wake up here. Okay, he is angry. She is angry. Okay, I'm going to take the food out. This might be a little bit of cheating, but you know what? There's just far too many to put them all into high chairs. So, you grab a serving. Oh, you already were. Okay, let's let some of the kids grab some food. Are they all awake? No, one's still asleep. Okay, we'll let her sleep. And let's just go through and see. Okay, he looks fine. She was... Okay, you are happy. You are very sad. You're ravenous. Did you take some food? Grab a serving. Where are you? Who are you? Oh, she's just, oh, you were playing in the toilet. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. He is very angry. She is, I'm noticing a theme in their moods right now. Okay, she has some food though. He's our angel. He just grabs the food on his own. He's fine. She's still asleep. She's the fussy one, and she's still asleep. Thank God. He is hungry. Why is he not getting food? Where is he going? He's just staring here. Gulliver, there you go. Everybody's eating. I like this. Somebody wandered off this way, though. Oh, Tammy. Oh, Tammy, you're actually becoming quite a joy. You were starving. You threw your food around, but now you're just playing with, in the balls. Excellent. Okay, somebody didn't pin. Oh, I'll put this away. Wow. I am an excellent parent. <laughs> okay, what is this redhead doing? She finished her dinner or her breakfast. 
Oh, they're all going to go play in the balls. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. He's still eating. Hey, not bad. We've got it totally under control. I will try to um, use the high chairs a bit, but... I wasn't that fussy over them because it, it doesn't it can be extremely hard to to manage getting kids in and out of that. Okay, you are very angry, tired. Okay, then don't babble. You can just go to sleep. Okay, there's our fussy one. She's up. She is starving. Well, we can take out the fruit salad and you can have some of that. Good, good stuff. Go girl. Go, girl. No reason to be angry. <laughs> oh, I love that they're all changing in and out of their outfits. This is so cool. All right. Everybody's okay. She's in the... Why is she in the red? Are you going to bed? You better be going to bed. Yes, you are. Good. All right. We've got somebody learning. Most people are playing. Um, okay, you're in the yellow. Oh, you need to go to the bathroom. Okay, we need to get Zane up here. Okay, Zane... Let's take him and teach him. Oh, we're probably going to be late. We're probably going to make it, but let's potty train Sean. And we'll get Sean stopped doing that. Okay, he's already stopped. Let's throw whatever's left in here. I think there's one serving. Oh, okay, somebody acquired the imagination skill. Why is she still angry? Oh, no, she's happy now. Okay, good. Well, the ball pit is great. They're all just, you know, working that out. Um, he's, he's tired. Uh, he doesn't have to go to the bathroom anymore. That's okay. We need to start potty training somebody. Um, how's everybody looking? Everybody's looking good. This is awesome. Um, oh, is that music, the welcome wagon coming over? We will let them in, mainly just to help with this insanity, even though this is so far pretty good. Oh, look, he's playing with his toy. Okay, let's check on people's needs. She's asleep. She is fine. Uh, he is going to have to go to sleep. She's playing with the doll. She's fine. Bill Tracy is playing in the ball pit. He's fine. Roxana, our fussy child. Okay, she just finished doing something. So why don't I get her to do stacks? Why not? Okay, what is this girl doing? She is playful. She wants to go play in the toilet? No. She can work on her imagination and play with one of the toys. All right. She's playing dolls. This is fantastic. I haven't seen anybody use the slide yet. Gulliver is... Oh, he needs some attention. Oh, is he the... No, he's not clingy. He's playing right now. Why does he... I wonder if babbling to Blarfy will get his attention up. I don't know. We will try it. I honestly didn't think we would get that involved in this part in the gameplay, but uh, it's great. Okay, Bill, how are you doing, Bill? You are going to hug? Who are you hugging? You're going to hug Roxana. Oh, she didn't like it. She just shoved him away. <gasps> okay, well, he's going to go play dolls then. This is, this is great. Roxana. No, you're not Roxana. You need attention, too. Okay, well, so did Gulliver, so uh, ask Gulliver to join playing. That should be good. Okay, you. You. Roxana, what are you doing? Oh, you're going to go watch toddler videos. Sure. Oh, Sean is done. Sean's tired. You can go to sleep. Because um, he's getting grumpy. <laughs> Hey, they're all doing so well. Uh, so actually, let's get Zane working on something since I can keep uh, an eye on that. I'll get him repairing that, and then he's got to cook a lot more food for these kiddos because that food salad went fast. But let's do it in the proper order. Repair the toilet, then cook some food. Perfect. Okay, look at everybody's in the green. Uh, I'm not going to worry about anybody who has to go to the washroom yet. She's very sad. Did you have a nightmare or something? She had a nightmare, so she's going to go babble to Zane while he's repairing the toilet. Works for me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're doing good. <laughs> I haven't lost any yet. They're all still there. Okay. He still needs attention, though. Why doesn't he just talk to his buddy Bill? 
um, battle. Roxana is fine. Who's this? Who's this person? Who's this little person? Uh, Yvonne. Yvonne wants to babble to Bill too. Bill seems to be drawing the people in to, you know, chat with, which is good. Or maybe he's just really good at playing dolls. That's great. <laughs> oh my god, I enjoyed this so much already. I was so excited to start this gameplay. Um, and um, it, it's just so far it's going along nicely. Oh, Zane fixed the toilet. Yes, he used the toilet, but why don't you cook something first? Don't bother cleaning up. I will give you a hand with that. So let's make some mac and cheese, I think. Kiddos like that, so let's get that going. And we'll see. <gasps> we'll see what needs to be done next. Okay. Oh, why are you in the blue? Oh, you're very sad, but you're bad. Like, you are asleep. You are very lonely. Why? Why aren't you talking to... Okay. Stop playing. Well, let's get Bill stop playing so you can babble with him. You can babble back. There you go. Work on your social. Okay. Oh, I think Yvonne was the clingy one, wasn't she? Oh, well, yeah, sure. Just talk to Zane. You're doing fine. Does anyone need to go to the washer? Because that's what we should focus on next. You know what? You're right here. Why don't I teach you to potty? There we go. Oh, after Zane goes potty. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, girl, why don't you, Yvonne, why don't you play some shape? You are happy, but you could use some potty training. Okay. Zane, let's potty train. Uh, it wasn't Yvonne, it was Roxana. Let's do that. Wow, these kids are pretty self sufficient. This guy's worrying me. He's so sad, he's so lonely. What can get his attention up? Let's um, let's watch toddler videos. See if that maybe just helps his all-around happiness. And then maybe Zane can potty train him. Maybe that'll give some attention. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with him. Uh, Carly, why are you? You're sad too. Okay, you know what? Why don't you? Um, where are you? Oh, you're gonna go talk to Blarfy. Okay, well maybe that'll help. Um, I want to see somebody use the slide. Who's okay? Bill. Bill, my buddy. Oh, you're talking? Okay, talk to the sad guy. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Oh! Angry? Oh my god! Relax, kiddo! Go to bed then! Oh my god, okay, I missed out on you and you destroyed the dollhouse. Not good. Not good at all. Oh look, someone's going by on their bike. Hmm. Okay. Just checking out the house, making sure everything's okay. I knew this room would be busy with everything in it, which is fine. Okay, Tammy, go to bed. Um, I think you're the fussy one. Okay, someone's learning potty, which is good. You are next. Uh, and then Zane needs to repair the uh, dollhouse because someone ruined it for everybody. Is everybody here? One, two. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we've got an eye on all of them. They're all, they're all fine, except she's asleep and he's just really, really sad. Is she getting uh, her social up by talking to? Yes, she is. Her attention is it going up? No. Oh, she's getting hungry too. Um. All right. Well, no one's in the red for hungry yet. Who went over this way? I saw somebody go this way. What are you doing, Sean? What are you doing? Sad, I know the dollhouse is broken. It's on my list. Okay, what is taking you so long, Roxana? We've got things to do. There we go. Okay, you know what? To give him attention, we are going to teach him to potty train. Oh, no, but he's feeding somebody. Okay, Gulliver, you're next. Okay, so he's going to go give her food. That's fine. Was she the one that's hungry? Where is she? Here? Yeah. Okay, good. And everybody's just following. Oh, my God. Well, you know, that's fine. Everybody seems pretty good. I don't like leaving her in the high chair for too long. But 
we will um, try to get this fella's um, attention up by teaching him how to potty. Works for me. And then we're going to have to run back and get her out of there. Everybody, everybody, just keep it under control for the next five to ten minutes, okay? <laughs> oh, I love how she dove into the... Oh, no, Bill, why are you sad? Everybody's sad because the dollhouse is broken. I know, I know. Okay, oh, my God, she's been on that thing for a while. Okay, all right, um... Social food, food. Okay, I gotta bring some more food out. Let's bring out the mac and cheese, and everybody can just kind of help themselves for now. Angry. Okay, she's done with that. Oh, get the food back out. Okay, maybe I should have just left. Actually, you know what? We'll give her this. Oh, I can't move that. Okay, here you go. Here you go, girl. Here you go. Grab that. Grab that. Why are you naked? Why is this kid running around naked? Sean, put your clothes on. You're angry because you're tired. Well, go to bed. Oh, he is going to bed. She is going to get... She's actually doing holding up pretty good. She's angry because she was on the computer for too long and she's hungry. All right. And she's making a mess. No, eat your food. Grab a serving. Oh, is this kid almost done? No! You can't get to it. Well... How close does it have to be to you? There you go. Please eat. Please eat. Yes, I know. I know. I feel horrible about leaving you there. But we can go get you in it right now. Perfect timing. Uh, let out. Let out. How come I can't let her out? Uh, pick up. Good enough. Good enough. He's coming. He's coming. All right. How's everybody else doing? Okay, you're fine. So that gave you some attention. Here, grab some food. I am proud of Zane. He is prioritizing like it's a triage situation. How are you doing, Bill? You're still sad about the dollhouse, aren't you? No, you need social. Well, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to repair this for everybody. Oh, my God. Everybody's crying. He's asleep. She's angry because um, she is getting tired, which is fine. He's sad because he needs attention. All right, so you know what? You can go babble to Zane. Babble. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, made it up to Bill, who is still sad, but he's going to babble. Oh, look, our only one that's happy is Roxana, who is our fussy child. Oh, good. Play in the ball pit. That's fine. Oh, Zane, you already look defeated. It's only been a few hours. Man, it's okay. He's tense. Ebony. Oh, okay. So I'm going to pause it here for a second to explain Ebony. So in the Never Ending Party, um, Zane did meet a couple friends, and Ebony became his girlfriend. Um, and she, oh, I hope I didn't miss that. Um, and she, uh, she became his girlfriend, and she was also an alien. So uh, part of this gameplay is that if Ebony uh, wants to do something like, like um, she wanted to come over, that we would allow that and try to make time for her and his best friend, Caden. So we're going to try to make time for them during the course of this gameplay as well. And I think this might actually be a great time to, to end this part. What I'll do is I will uh, invite Ebony over so that in the next part, she comes over. I'm pretty sure we'll have the welcome wagon over at some point. I thought we would have had it by now. So we might have a few people over in the house, and maybe they'll help with the toddlers. I mean, this is what I'm expecting as being an easy day. <laughs> but we've definitely had some fires. So let's see if that announcement comes back, and we will invite Ebony over. Uh, no, it disappeared. So we're going to invite to hang out at the current lot Ebony, because she just called. What does Bill need? Bill is tired, so you know what? Let's let him out. Let out. And then Zane, oh, Zane, you're exhausted too. Come on. No, quit watching TV. Let the little kiddo out. He's going to go to sleep, and then you'll go to sleep. And then, is Ebony here? Oh, Ebony's just coming right in. So you know what, Ebony? You can watch your boyfriend take a much-needed rest. Oh, she's just going to go on the computer anyway. Ebony! Another human in the place. Well, not a human, an adult. So Zane, go to sleep. Bill, go to sleep. 
Uh, Sean, I you up, Sean. You're starving. I hope you enjoyed part one of, I guess I'm going to call it the Neek Nursery. Um, I had a lot of fun playing this, to be honest with you. I think this is going to be a great game challenge. I'm just going to take care of a couple of things here. And part two, I think we will pick up right off the bat. Ebony is over. I'm not sure we're going to see much of her, but um, it looks like she's going out. Oh, it looks like the, uh, the, uh, the tape is working. So I am to sign off this part. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I had a lot of fun playing part one. Thanks everybody for watching. Peace and love.